This is the VOA Special English Economics Report. Greece has approved a plan to cut spending, raise taxes, and sell government-owned assets. The approval cleared the way for $17 billion in loans from the International Monetary Fund and the European Union. The loans are a share of the $156 billion rescue deal that Greece secured last year. The money will help the government to operate and pay its debts until the middle of September. But the austerity plan led to a two-day general strike in Greece and violent demonstrations in Athens. Several hundred protesters and police were injured. Parliament approved the plan on June 29th and agreed to the details the next day. Prime Minister George Papandreou won more support than expected for his proposals. He appealed to Parliament to do everything possible to avoid defaulting on the debts of the birthplace of democracy. There is a choice, he said. We can remain a Greece which has a huge public sector or change to a Greece which has an effective, democratic and productive public sector. Greece is expected to seek more international help even though years of government borrowing led to the crisis. Many protesters said their government is making decisions that only serve the interests of wealthy nations. But other Greeks see the need for austerity. One man said, I think the policies are a good step towards finding common ground with the European Union. I don't think any country can operate in isolation these days, especially a country the size of Greece. On June 28, the IMF chose French Finance Minister Christine Lagarde as its new managing director. Dominique Strauss-Kahn resigned in May after he was accused of sexually assaulting a hotel cleaning woman in New York. But on July 1st, a judge released Mr. Strauss-Kahn from house arrest as the investigation continued. Prosecutors raised questions about the believability of the accuser. The IMF has always been led by a European, but Ms. Lagarde is the first woman. She received support from the United States and European nations, as well as Russia, Brazil, and China. She has promised to be a strong voice for developing countries, especially in Asia and Africa. But international monetary expert Domenico Lombardi says she can also pressure other European finance ministers to take a more aggressive stance on the European crisis. For VOA Special English, I'm Alex Villarreal.